Hi, welcome back to my workshop. On this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made replacement parts for a German bayonet. Boom, right there. Check it out. I've been wanting a project that I could use both of my Tormach machines. I haven't actually done like a cross-pollinating project yet. So this is the perfect project for that. It requires a little bit of turning and a little bit of milling. And uh, I think it's a, it's a good challenge because they're so small. Just dropped an 80 year old piece of equipment. So let's talk about what it is I'm actually making. This is the button that is used to release the bayonet from the rifle. So it's a World War II Mauser, I believe. And uh, yeah, you put the bayonet on the end of the rifle and this clicks on. And then when you want to release it, you just press the button and it pushes this out and you can pull your bayonet off the rifle. The threaded part is broken, so that's why we're, I have to make a new one. A little bit of World War II history right there. I'm gonna make this out of regular steel. This is all I have on hand right now, but uh, it should do the trick. I've worked out the cam in Fusion 360, so it has all the operations that will be fed into the CNC machine. Now I'm going to go into Tormox Pathpilot Hub and upload the files so that my machine has the files it needs to run the part. So browse, open, upload, simple as that. So the next step is to download the file. So I'm gonna refresh and scroll down and find bayonet part. There's the G code. All right, I'm going to load that. Now I've got to probe the workpiece. This back corner is what I'm working off of. So I got to come in and tap it, tap it, and then I got to tap the top. It's pretty easy with the interface. So now I'm going to find Y. And it's moving. All right. It found where my Y is. Tell it where my X is. It's over here. X is done. All right, now I'm gonna find my Z. Now it's gonna find the Z. So now it knows where to start cutting. So I'll raise that up. Pull my probe out. Put it right there. I'm gonna cut the whole thing with a quarter inch four flute end mill. I've got everything loaded. I think I'm ready to go. Okay, I finished running. It took about 16 minutes. I could probably get it quicker, but it's a one-off. 16 minutes is not bad. <laughs> so there it is. Ideally, I would have thread milled the metric threads on this little nub here, but I don't know how to thread mill yet. I'm still working on that. So. Easiest I got is run a die over it. So it's, uh, it works, it's, it'll be fine. Just making sure it's level. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I am really pleased with that. Carbon copy for the most part. So now I'm gonna take it to the bandsaw and cut it off. There it is. Now you might be wondering why I was so imprecise with the backside when this has this nice sloping curve. Well, the reason it has that nice sloping curve is because that is the contour of the bayonet that this fits to. So I don't have the bayonet, so I just, for the, my friend, I'm leaving it a little bit proud so that he can shape it in his own shop. Now I gotta fire up the lathe and start working on the button.
Okay, I got my blades set up and ready to go to do the first operation. All right, we got the outside profile there. <clears throat> That's what it's supposed to look like. Pretty close. Works for me. <clears throat> There we go. All right, I've got my workpiece set up here in this collet block. Um, I have a 16th um, diameter end mill that's gonna come in and just take very light passes and make that little groove. And uh, we'll see how that goes. You can see the tiny amount of depth that it's taking because it's such a tiny little end mill. I'm just being very delicate with it. All right. It's all kind of chewed up, but a little file and it'll be Perfect. Okay, got it all set up back in my lathe, and now all I gotta do is part it off. Here we go. There it is. Just got a little nub on the back that I need to rip off. There it is. That was a really fun project and it made good use of these two wonderful machines in my shop. I am so blessed to be able to have these, to be able to play around with, make things, have fun. This is just, this is really fun. I love it. Definitely the smallest piece I've ever machined uh, on a CNC. All right, that's it for this time. I'll see you on the next video.